We have some breaking news to report tonight in the race for president. With 50 days to go until the Iowa caucuses, a new poll shows Texas Senator Ted Cruz now leading Donald Trump by 10 points, with Ben Carson falling to third. Here's Juliana Goldman. We've done so well. I love you too. <laughs> Hours before a bruising poll showed Donald Trump losing steam in Iowa, he was in South Carolina taking on the EPA, gun control, and his proposal to bar Muslims from entering the U.S. We don't want people coming in and knocking down World Trade Centers and having what happened last week in California. Last night, he took aim at Ted Cruz in Iowa, where some polls show the Texas senator in first place and where religious conservatives dominate the Republican caucuses. I do like Ted Cruz, but not a lot of evangelicals come out of Cuba, in all fairness. But Saturday's poll shows Iowa evangelicals overwhelmingly backing Cruz. The two have played nice throughout the campaign, but not so nice since these off-camera remarks by Cruz came out this week. People are looking for who is prepared to be a commander-in-chief, who understands the threats we face. The New York Times obtained audio of Cruz at a private fundraiser, saying he was the electable conservative who could take on the establishment, not Trump or Ben Carson. I believe that gravity will bring both of those campaigns down, and I think the lion's share of their supporters come to us. Today, Trump acknowledged the gloves are coming off. We've had a very good relationship, but I'm sure it'll end because, you know, he's got to come after me at some point. Still, wary of alienating Trump supporters, Cruz held his fire, tweeting, sorry to disappoint, Donald Trump is terrific, hashtag deal with it. Tonight's Bloomberg poll shows Iowa Republicans think Trump has a slightly better chance of beating Hillary Clinton. Jim, in an interview with Fox News, before that poll was released, Trump had a message for Republican leaders about his frontrunner status. He said, you've got to get used to it. Juliana Goldman with the changing face of the Republican race in Iowa. Thank you.